Hey, I'm Pastor Victor from Mosaic House Church, and welcome to Soul Food, because Jesus says, you shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. And today's soul food comes to us from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. So shall we go to it? And please, let's read it together, because when we read it together, you retain it better. So hear the word of the Lord. As you come to Him, the living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God, and precious to Him, you also, like living stones, are being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul is giving us the identity and the destiny for you and me. It's not all that easy to detect this in the English language, but in the Greek, it says, you all, you all come to Him, come to Jesus, as you all draw near to Him, and as you all are being like living stones. So, right there, your identity, your identity is being built into what? The spiritual house. That's it. You and I must see ourselves as living stones, living stones that are being built into a spiritual house. Now, the Apostle Paul wrote this to local churches. Therefore, you all, not as in you singular, but you plural, you are all like what? Living stones that are being laid on top of the living stone, Jesus Christ. To be what? Our identity is to be being built into a spiritual house, the temple of God. So you and I, we find our identity being laid on the foundation of the cornerstone of Jesus Christ to be this communal community. So therefore, one application is this. Jesus is calling you and me to be a part, an intricate part of a living stone community. Are you in a local church? Are you being built into the living temple, the spiritual house of God? That's our identity. What's our destiny? He calls us to be, to be a holy priesthood. Jesus is the high priest, and therefore, we, like the living stone, like the high priest, our destiny is to function, to serve. Yes, we get to serve others as priests. And what's the job of the priest? To intercede. In the Old Testament, their job was to offer animal sacrifices. But Jesus says here, through the words of the Apostle Paul, to offer spiritual sacrifices, not animal sac sacrifices. So what does that mean? As the living stone being built into the house of God in a local church, your and my destiny is to offer spiritual sacrifices, to intercede on behalf of other members of the body of Christ. So as the priest, you offer the sacrifice of praise, confession, joy. The question is, do you know, are you aware of the joys, concerns, and the sorrows of other living stones in the spiritual house of God? So here's a challenge. May you today, as you go in the time of prayer, Consider, hmm, whom can I serve as a priest? For whose joys and concerns and challenges and confession can I act as a priest to them and for them? So may the Lord bless you and give you encouragement because, remember, soul food. Jesus says, you shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Think about the promise to claim comfort to embrace, and a challenge to accept. May the Lord bless you.